Hello everybody, it is your boy Steven here, and today we're back with an episode of My Summer Car, where in this episode, recently an update has came out that has added a new racing carburetor, and we're going to find out how much better the racing carburetor is, which would be these, it's like a four barrel system, over the twin carburetors, which is the upgrade from the stock. So we're going to run some tests. So before I get this test underway, I do want to point out a few things. I have the racing tires on, along with the the spoiler. This spoiler, I don't know if it does anything. If it's different from the other spoiler, but I have that spoiler. Racing seats, no roll cage. Had to restart my car. Long story. And I have a I have, t I have tuned valves with the new radiator, tuned carburetor with the twin carbs. That's about it. Also about these wheels, I decided to go with the racing clicks and not the rally tires. Because this is a, uh, this is the road sur- this is the asphalt surface. And, uh, I I'd imagine that the, the, the surface, the traction on these tires gets better traction on the asphalt. And I think that'll equal out to the rally tires getting their traction from the dirt. So, since I can't get on a dirt road and do a fucking dirt drag race, I'm doing it here. With asphalt and these tires. That makes sense. I hope so. That's why I'm doing it. I almost forgot to mention my air, my gas to air ratio. What is it called? I forget what it's called. My gas to air ratio is dying in at 14.6 at idle. So if you have the same exact results that I'm getting, you put it at that. But that's what I'm testing at as well. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. A little light. A little light. It'll be okay though. It'll be okay. We're still getting on down. This was a lot better. I didn't fucking die. 120. 140. Ooh, that one was really fast. Okay. I can live with that. That one was really fast. Let's go look at our times. That's better to look at. My 60 foot was 3.3. Yeah, because I had like a 3 second delay because my fucking engine died. But the, the right side is my correct one. About the same. But it felt a lot faster. Like, hell a lot faster. That was my time that I'm going to stick to. Keep that with me at all times. Screenshot as well. I'm good to go. Those old, all the ones about records, moon. those old the phonograph records, tunes. the ones Getting we used to play so long ago. ago. Oh, the old wind up but the if cola. they sound Google scratchy, great. the tunes really were catchy, and, and especially Daddy those Daddy that said I love you so. Now we gotta tune this bad boy. Okay, so if you are curious about how to tune this car, if you look at the carburetor, you see there are four screws. One, two, three, four. 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 There, look. It's like right there. There. One, two, three, four. They're all four right there. And you can turn them each individually with your mouse wheel up, up for one and down for the other. So that is how you tune this carburetor if you are confused. My best suggestion is if you turn one, one way, also turn all the other the same exact way. Okay, I do really want to apologize for having my mic not sounding correctly. It just sounds a lot better now. Again, I am sorry. It's fixed now. A little better. I hope so. Anyways, here we go. 14.7. That'll do. And that's how it's tuned. I'm going to put the numbers that are actually there, because I forgot how many I've done, but we're going to find out, okay? Be right back. We're going to the fucking drag ship now. No, hold on. I'm not done yet.
Now we're done. And she's a beauty. Boy, I know you didn't wake motherfucking ass up. At 12 o'clock at night, I'm gonna come pick you up when I was trying to sleep and get to the fucking daytime. You motherfucker. I'll fucking kill you, man. I'll fucking kill you, dude. I'll fucking kill you. Dude. I don't have anything. I don't need meat. I have meat. Give me some meat, boy. I'm gonna fucking meet that motherfucker. I gotta wait. Oof. Here we are on the side of the fucking road again. That's what happened. I guess I downshifted. I'm trying to put my fucking thumb down because I was gonna do a speed run. But oh no, oh no, oh no. I blew a piston. Looking good. Looking real good. And I almost got fucking hit. You almost hit me, buddy. Alright, moment of truth. Was all this worth it? Way to find out. Here we go. This fucking thing's gone. Got some wicked up, but it'll be okay. And 140. Woo! Got some speed to it now, don't it? 119? What? How does that make sense? Okay, so the reason I was upset is because of this. If you look at these times right here. Okay, so on the old carburetors, I everything was fine. Everything was just about fine. I was getting sick. But what I'm really upset about these kilometers at the end. I, okay, so the middle of the kilometers, I was going 101 with the, uh, the twin carb system. With the racing car system, I was only going 96. And that's a big difference, okay? So, now that's a big difference, right? Well, now we go down farther to the second kilometers. Well, the, the second kilometers in the list, I was going 126 with the uh, twin carburetor system. With the racing carburetor system, I was only going 119. So that's like a seven, eight kilometer distance, fucking eight kilometer difference, man. I think it's a six, seven to six. It's a lot. That's a lot for me, and I, I didn't like it. I don't like it. So technically stock. The, the twin carburetors are better, but there's one detail that I you've not yet to see, and you have to have this one detail with the racing carburetors to make it worth its while. Check it out. Okay, so one thing you have to know about the uh, the NOS setup is one thing. Back here, if you open up your oh, if you open up your trunk, you see the NOS, and there's this valve, and if you notice, there's the press button thing. I'm gonna guess this is zero or 200. That's a zero right there. So you have to go back here and you have to turn this pressure gauge down, which turns it all the way up in order to use the fucking nitrous. Because if you don't do that, then your nitrous will not work. Which is great to know now. I'm glad that I know it now. Okay, here's the real test. See how good this fucking turbo is. Watch this, watch this. Turbo, a NOS, here we go, here we go. Hell yeah, we're fucking gone, buddy. This thing's so fucking gone. Co cargo. Holy hell. Greased rust. Don't know what that means. But I got an achievement called fucking greased rust. 142! 0 to 60 and 3.3. 3.30 and 7, 6.60 and 11, I was going 117 kilometers, god, 1,014, now that's some speed that I was looking for, and all that's with the turbo, so you thought it wasn't worth it, I thought it wasn't worth it guys, but in matter of fact, it's actually the NOS that makes your game better, because the NOS kicks ass, that's for damn sure. Now again, that is the speed that I was looking for and trying to get. Look at this fucking speed now. See, this shit is insane. And this is shit is almost too insane, okay? Let me pull these bad boys out. Okay, so. Okay, RT is fine, whatever, yeah. 60, 60 foot's fine. The 330? I did a 330 and 7.7 .7 versus 8. And about, about 8 both those other times. I did the 660 11.3 versus 12.4. That's a whole second. 12.4, 12.5. Like a whole second. I was going 117 kilometers. Halfway down the track, I guess. 117 fucking kilometers. That's almost as fast as my last pass with the racing carburetors. 
And it's not as fast as the end, but it's, uh, what is that? That's like, that's 16 kilometers over what I did in the, with my, uh, twin carbs. That's fucking insane. I did the 14, I did the 1,000 foot in 14, which is two more seconds than the racing carbs. Yep, and one more second than the fucking twin carb raiders. I did the one-fourth of a mile in 16.9 versus 19.0 with the racing. That's what, 17, 18, 19? Uh, I did about so two seconds. That's two seconds off the one-fourth versus, fuck yeah, I did 18, so three seconds. But what really gets me is the kilometers per hour. I did a whopping 142 kilometers an hour. That's 20 kilometers of what I finished with the racing carbs and like 12 or 13. That's fucking insane. And I do want to mark something. Um, it didn't show it on these, but if you watch my RPM at the very end as I'm crossing the line, I hit like 180. Like, 180 kilometers. I don't know what's the difference between why it's not marking that or what. But I'm hitting like one fucking 80, dude. That is insane. But yeah, that's going to include this video for me right now. Leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Comment if you want to see some more of these, like, theory videos. What's better than what. Or if any parts come out. Let me know. Let me see what you want to know. Anyways, I love you guys. Y'all have a great fucking day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.